we are now being joined by journalist Michael Tracy from Glasgow, Scotland. Michael, thank you so much for joining us on We On. Well, we all remember that it took 15 rounds of voting to elect Kevin McCarthy as House Speaker. Do you think that Republicans can come together now and agree on who should be the next Speaker of the House? Well, eventually, they'll have to pick someone. So the nature of the body requires that they achieve some level of caucus-wide agreement. But it remains to be seen how much of an ideological shift any transition from McCarthy will actually be entailed. Because Scalise, for example, Steve Scalise, the current uh, majority leader, really is not all that distinguishable from McCarthy in terms of a political program. Um, on Ukraine war funding, for instance, mm -hmm. Scalise has just been has been just as vociferous as McCarthy was in supporting funding for the Ukraine war, notwithstanding the modulation of the rhetoric they sometimes employ in order to cater to certain restive factions of the Republican caucus. So on the major political issues that the Congress now has to contend with, um, whether a move away from McCarthy will actually result in any substantial shift in terms of policy preference uh, remains to be seen, I think. Mm -hmm. And I have to ask this, former U.S. President Donald Trump has said that he'll help as much as he can uh, in this turmoil. He signals that he may be open uh, to becoming speaker with that image that he posted on Truth Social. But how much of this is really technically possible? Well, if you read the text of the Constitution, which is freely available on the Internet for anybody who's interested, it doesn't specify any criteria for whom the House can select a speaker other than the House can choose their own speaker. Presumably, that could also mean they could choose a foreigner. I, I nominate Boris Johnson. I think that would be entertaining. Um, but yeah, Trump obviously is going to dangle this mm -hmm. over the heads of people. Just as a political ploy, it seems to me very unlikely that he would actually serve as speaker, in, given that he's you know running for president and also <laughs> embroiled in a large number of severe legal issues. Um, but to whatever extent... Trump can portray himself as the kingmaker of the Republican Party, he's going to probably seize on that opportunity because it will solidify his role as the almost presumptive nominee of the party at this point. Um, but clearly, Trump is going to have a significant amount of leverage over whoever the Republicans choose, as he did over McCarthy. You know, I was at a America First Institute uh, think tank type gathering last year, last summer that Trump spoke at for his first trip back to Washington, D.C. after leaving office in 2021. And one of the marquee speakers there was Kevin McCarthy. So this idea that there are these intractable divides within mm -hmm. the Republican Party sometimes can be overstated. Um, Kevin McCarthy and Trump were obviously in affinity with one another. Trump actually complained a few days ago that the Republicans were engaging in excessive infighting. Um, so... As much as the media mm -hmm. might want to play up the sort of putative policy difference between different factions of the, of the party on the core issues, such as Ukraine war funding, which is, you know, it's hard to really imagine what would be a more paramount issue at this juncture. Um, Trump, McCarthy, and even some of the more rebellious uh, factions within the House Republican caucus are really not that far apart. Um, it's a matter of kind of internal machination it seems, without a whole lot of underlying policy stakes, at least in certain respects. Um, but I'll grant that there's um, some pretty uh, severe uncertainty now as to how this will all unfold, because as you mentioned from the outset, n nothing like this has happened before in, in U.S. history, so we should all retain a bit of humility as to how the uh, events will unfold. Yeah, Ukraine and also on border, it seems that everyone uh, in the Republican Party agrees. Michael Tracy, thank you so much for joining us. And I look forward to speaking to you again very soon. All right. Thank you.